<laughs> okay, <laughs> chuckle fucks. So. I'm still asking to join the owl bear. Um, I'll let you in. So, all last time found some wonderful cursed items and decided, you know what? Caution to the wind. You're going to continue to down those cursed items and then thought maybe it was a good idea to stop doing that. Congratulations, kids. Stop doing drugs. So, moving on from that, you all then found some wonderful body parts that you injected into your body uh, from good old Steel Ball Run of JoJo. And here you are with the buffs. Went from drugs to body mods. And then afterwards, you notice that Tarkus is missing from your uh, backpack, Hal. Sons. Where do y'all want to go? Uh, the last place where we were before, which was in the death place over here. Yeah, I'm going over that way. Uh, I mean, I can easily stealth in there and stealth out myself to see what's going on in there. I can even cast a darkness and because I can see a magical darkness now, so I'd be fine. I can do a pass without trace and sneak in to see if I see you. Well, would you guys rather go in together? <laughs> yeah, I think we'd all rather go in together. But what, aren't there a bunch of enemies down there? Ready to no, kill. we made peace with the robots. Remember, Graves They're... repented. They're chill now. Yeah, what? we're chill with the robots now. Okay, yeah, let we're... me at, let me at least scout it out first. Make sure the alarm is the alert alarm is not first at least. All right, when, all right. If fine. I get, do you hear any alarms going off? I don't hear any alarms. Do you? I slightly open the hatch. <laughs> I don't think how things were chill like that. I mean, it's it's fair that he can't really see right now. Shut up. I mean, you can see, kinda. Yes. <laughs> By the way, those eyes, they regrow and snap like a balloon. I know. Those Pop! Are once a day. Yeah, isn't it once a day? It's been a day. So we've got a rest in. No. Okay, fine, fellas. Time is weird here. Yeah. I opened the, the hatch a little As bit. the voice Actually, of... Actually, wait a second. Wait a second. We have these robots' compassion now, right? Like, we're good with them? Yeah. Why don't we stop and take a break real quick? I need to find Tarkus first. Okay. Yeah, we need to find Tarkus first. What the fuck's the a Tarkus? The boy is on the loose. Wait, is, so is Aurora or is Aurora not a <laughs> No, we're still smoking, so she's technically here, but she's Okay. Not. She's just commenting because... <laughs> she's here. <laughs> following everybody around at this point voicelessly right now. Okay. So. Switch the maps. Graves does ask what the fuck's a Tarkus. He is... The little dragon knight that was covered in armor on the back of Al. It, oh. He... It, it's a, it, it is an axolotl that hangs out in my backpack. He's my little buddy. It's a thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, yes. Get it right. Anyway, my bad. You're right. It's thanks a lot. You've never. Graves, you've never seen Tarkus? You've never seen me talk into my backpack. I feel like. Or Aurora. Graves probably heard Holotus. him and just ignored the shit out of him. <laughs> Holotus, Holotus, before about 25 minutes ago uh -huh. when I was kneeling on an altar, I really didn't pay attention to many of you because you're all just a bunch of chaotic fucks. You did not hear me screaming my head off. Yeah. I tried. No, I, I, I'll be honest, I, I, I quite didn't. I was kind of dealing with my own shit at the time. As you all... I would like to get known that I am a calm individual. <laughs> As you all come down the stairs, and okay. you come down to the ground floor of the cathedral, where there's tons of machinery going on and different, uh, different automatons doing different kinds of tasks and such that you don't quite know the knowledge of, you see Kofi, who is currently holding Tarkus, and is walking away with him. It's coffee! Halt. Mm. 
Uh, excuse me, sir, so I need to go by. Uh, Kofi has my small child. <laughs> the narrative you name is you. just hold up. You really want to do this again? They just hold up their uh, swords and like block your path. I don't know uh, if you know what the grave is doing, but. I yell out for Kofi. Graves is doing this. Uh. <laughs> sir! You have my small child! I would like him back, please! Hey, Kofi! I, uh. <laughs> yes, my <laughs> scaly son. Yeah, hi. Oh. Uh, that, that thing you got there, the little. Called a a a tarfuck? Tarkus. Tarkus. The Tarkus. That. Uh, I'm kind of gonna need you. T I I need it back. Like. Oh. Please. Well, this little thing has been deemed as a worthy, a worthy patronage to my master, and as such, he would like to see it. And so I am bringing that to him. So are you planning on doing any harm to it? No, Not my mine. now. Hey, let me take, let me take care of this. Uh, Graves gonna hold his hand out to the two of you as you get closer. By the way, <laughs> are, you, are you planning on doing any harm to it? Not to my knowledge. I believe he wishes to put it in a pen with other of its kind. He collects these, oh. you know, has a quite a large aquatic tank for them on the third or so floor. Ah. Uh. It is new place for such a squishy creature as this. That would be a problem for us. Yeah, uh, that that kind of, he, he kind of belongs to my my friend here, the the Ergonossi. I I'd, I'd appreciate it if you didn't. Maybe is there something else we can give you that might be of, of worth? As you say that, you hear a small clicking. And you see a little, like, gear tick on the side of his head. And he's like, Ow. Oh, if you'll excuse me, I must be going rather fast. He seems to be calling for me quite earnestly. Um, I'm gonna he, have to ask you not to, Kofi. He I'm steps... Gonna have to, he's gonna stop Kofi. He's gonna grab Kofi. He steps on a platform. Grace is gonna grab Kofi as he goes to step away. And as soon as that happens, you vanish with him. Uh-uh. Awesome. You just hear like... <laughs> as the beam shoots up and you vanish. As a cylindrical thing shunts shut. And then... As it goes into the machine. And then it goes... Opens up again, steaming. Is this appears to be the first bit of magic that you've seen in the whole facility? Wait, wait, what? Is that to me or to Helen then? All of you see wait. this, but Graves and Kofi, you both disappeared as the cylinder shot down on you both and sent you to a different plane or wherever oh. he was going. Also, should we? Yeah. Should we... Should we go? Did I see... Wait. Did we see them teleport, or did we see them basically go into a tube shoot? Uh, a tube shoot, but it looks like they teleported. Okay. I get Mechanical that. teleport. Alright. We shot away so fucking fast it looked like teleportation. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. well, from well, what I can gather from what he just said, me like, mechanical teleportation, that's, that's what it sounds like. We shot so fucking fast. In one direction, it looked like we did. Balsa. It's like the money tubes at the banks oh. that you see, where you put it when you put it in the. You know what I mean? It like banks, drive-through banks. You put like the money Balsa. in the little canister, and you put it in the tube, and it goes up in the tube. Yeah, it just seems like very much a much a much much faster version of that. Yeah, but okay. Ooh. Well, awesome. You that, know I can't that, fight you physically. This isn't fair. Sure. Well, that happened. You know I can't! You know I'm not strong enough to fight you, Balsam. This isn't fair. 
Also, it's also very weak. <laughs> are you gonna are you gonna <laughs> shove you gonna shove him in with your balsam? Yeah. Well, here's the difference, balsam. You're much heavier than I am, so uh, if I even athletics, <laughs> athletics versus athletics. Uh, are you are you fighting me? <laughs> you know what? For fun, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh god, let's see how this turns out. The struggle Ew. of the two weaklings. <laughs> yes, because it's funny. Oh shit! What'd you get? A thirteen oh. on Balsam's end. It's a lot higher than I thought. I got a oh, nineteen. No, <laughs> you are stonewalled. You cannot push okay. them in. Reverting back. <laughs> I am. Um, you see Balsam go up to you, and just his feet are sliding on the floor. He's Scraping of metal. Also, why are you trying to push me in there? Why? We must go. Oh, you could ask. We have no time. Fine, Buzz. Do you even know how to work Let's it? Go. I God. totally saw how he did it. Mmm. Mmm, sure. <laughs> sure you do. <laughs> sure you did. Uh, you know what? Fine. If, if I so, die, I'm haunting you. <laughs> so you both enter, and Balsam, you fiddle with the controls a bit, and then you press something, and as soon as you press something, you see that, um, you know, it, things begin to shake, and then a couple bolts fall off the side-mounted panel. Oh, no. And you begin to spin really slowly, and then spin really fast. And spin even faster as then you are shunted through the tube. Please. Imagine we're against the wall. <laughs> You're like squishing <laughs> me or something. <laughs> uh hey Hal, real quick, what if uh what if his master is the beastmaster? He he That'd wanted the dragon egg because he keeps a pen of its kind. No, the Beastmaster is in the Castle of Chaos. You're correct. And we are in the gardens of the Castle of Chaos. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Just because someone's a collector of animals doesn't mean they're the Beastmaster. Yeah, but you know this is something Cassius would do just to fuck with you, right? It's also rumored to be bad in here so you are all shunted to a pocket dimension in which oh, that's as you better. unspin you come out at the speed of light and then are then exitly stopped oh. you see all oh. around you across the floor are ticking gears mm -hmm. in clocks as well as ticking time on all the walls, there are clocks. Grandfather, simple clocks, Big Ben, everything that you can see, and kicking cogs and gears all around you. With below you, below the clocks, is the flow of time itself, flowing like water, moving forward and backwards in tandem, spinning around down there as a deep, deep ocean of light blue, gold, and green. We're in the Citadel at the end of time, from Loki. Kofi stands on the other side. Does he have Tarkus with him? Yes, he's holding Tarkus. And he says to... Halt your tokens a moment. Halt your tokens. So, as he's standing there, you see him in front of a large clock with two pendulums on it, as well as two grandfather clocks of towers standing next to him. It says to you, beyond this point is where my master's domain is. However, I am not permitted to give you this small pink lizard thing. It has been ordered to me by the grand order that I shall keep it and send it down to below for research, study, and mythological anomalation. 
Stunny. Yeah, Kofa, we we can't let you do that, man. You, you that, can't that's, study that's, him. It's her pet, man. That's her pet. <laughs> that's his, his son. Pet, that's his pet. My bad. My bad. You're. That's I his forgot. Son. You see him kind of crackle his gears a bit. In the smoke, kind of like twinge a bit into a deeper blue than what it normally has. He says, Do hear me. I wish I could give you this pink lizard. But due to my inner workings, I am not permitted to. Then let us take it. Don't resist. Just let us take it. That's the problem. I believe he's I saying can't. he's not in control of himself. Can I roll an insight and just get a feel for how powerful Kofi is? You can. Oh, that's a bad insight. Fuck me. Wait, I can. I specialize. An 11. He... Is all of it you may... What did you get? Eleven. You don't know, but he doesn't seem to be all that... He's extremely versed in magic and in power, and within time and control, he's extremely strong. However, your insight gives you that he is in control of his body, but due to everything being mechanical, his programming may not allow him to disobey the thing that's calling him. I'm asking you to disobey your master. I'm just asking you to not resist. He tries to speak, and you hear a tick, tick, tick. As the ticking gets louder, you see as slowly... A uh, crown helmet is put over his face that then lights up blue as well as the yeah, smoke there, around him. Control. That's lost control. As it says to you, Kofi, did I not seek for you to be in my control? Absolute order is absolute. Why you do you sought... need... You sought to Why have my plans done, if I so gave them to you. Graves, is, Graves, is start, Graves wants to sto slowly start making his way forward, by the way. But he's also going to yell out, Why do you need her Tarkus? Like, isn't that another Tarkus you can find somewhere else in the damn castle? He says, Holt, as he holds his hand over and is gripping on Tarkus, and then puts him over the water that is below you. I could drop him. Oh, please don't. Look, please don't. What, what's the sense in that? Just, it, uh, Bal, Bal, Balsam, you said that's her son? Or his son? I mean, he's like a son. He's, he's just a kid. My prime like, directive. It, it's like it's been prime with us since directive graduate. is to ground the master. This is my core function as Kofi. I seek reason and grounding. If this creature could give grounding back to his plan, then... Hold on, little little munchkins. Alright, alright, sorry. If I can give order back, or if I can give grounding back to the plan. Reading my notes. This... This thing has been with her since birth. Since birth, it, it, it's pregnant. Him? Fuck me! I know. I'm sorry. 
the oh, thing is, Tarkus has been with him practically since birth. Like, it, it sees him as his father. He... he can't take a stone away. He lifts the mask himself, and he says to you, Before my gears take me over, I am the right hand of my master, and make sure all of his plans move forward accordingly. I cannot say, I can say for certain that this small creature will be well taken care of. I'm not saying you won't get it back. You could, very well. But I need to complete the objective that I was given. I will complete this objective at any cost or any kind. Guys. Please do not just... try to get in my way. I really do not want to give over to my core programming. It's not as nice Guys, as I am. Just... Guys, just let him. We can try to get Tarkus back. We're not healthy enough for a fight right now. And I also, I believe our, um... Our interruptions are making our friend Coffee lose himself. Yes, we can't fight right now. We'll get him back. How do we go at, how do we get back to the temple then? He holds his hand up and says, Are you wishing to proceed with a fight, or shall you not impede beyond my progress? We're not gonna evade. If you if you if you're saying that we can get him back at a later time, then we won't impede. Very well. He holds his hand up, and you see a bluish smoke appear on it, which then it lights the clock on its hands, ticking forward to the exact time that is right now. Every clock in unison ticks forward one second. And as soon as one second ticks forward, you are all launched in, you are all returned to the temple. Oh, this is a new area. And you appear right over... I'm sorry, Al. Well, we'll, we'll get him back. You appear okay. in front of a table, decorated with all kinds of chicken and beef and all kinds of manner of other things. You have entered... <laughs> One moment. You have entered... You have entered floor four of this area. Did we skip floor three? You just went through floor three. Oh, okay. Was okay, floor three the, the clock thing? The, yep. The little uh, interaction with Kopai? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, shit. All right. Damn. And I say we, I say we passed that with flying colors. <laughs> nobody, di nobody died. Nobody got hurt. Yeah. Unfortunately, we lost Tarkus, but we'll yeah. get him back. Yeah. We'll get him back. We'll get him back. Inside this area, you see mm -hmm. there is multiple tables as well as people gathered around. As there is a rather macabre-looking creature covered in steel veins mm -hmm. and all kinds of flesh being sealed underneath metal and spikes. And there is a ghastly, a ghastly clergy slowly removing one spike and seeing how it affects the body as it twitches and moves. The other, uh. a, the other automatons at each of the tables begin jotting down notes quickly. And you can tell they're all slightly different, but the notes that they're jotting down appear to be as if they're studying this creature. You appear to be in some kind of entertainment hall. You're surrounded by oh. decorative paints and all kinds of theater association in this particular room. Their background music. <laughs> hmm? That could be the background music. What's is there background music and what is it? Do you need background music? No, no, I'm not asking for <laughs> background music. I'm asking, is there music currently playing? Yes. 
There is background music playing, and the background music that is playing is slow classical music. Hey, my kind of plays. I'll play classical stuff. <laughs> but occasionally, every few measures, a wrong note is played. No. On purpose. On purpose. Horrible. Horrible. How is mad now? Also, pull his plate towards himself. As you pull the plate towards you and you take a bite no, of the say. turkey and you no, let, eat. Let me be clear. Huh? I don't take a bite. I lift the plate up and I slide everything down. Okay, fucking Shaggy. So you take up a drumstick <laughs> and you clean it off like a fucking cartoon. Except <laughs> as soon as you clean off that drumstick, instantly another drumstick mutates and instantly grows out of the turkey into a new cooked drumstick. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, Balsam's just gonna be sitting here eating. <laughs> so as you devour one drumstick after another and as the bird continues to mutate and develop more drumsticks. Well then. Um... What do we do? Because, ugh, the music is horrible. Balsam, for every drumstick, you gain back six health. Oh, okay. <laughs> roll me... Roll me a constitution save. All right. That is 30, good sir. <laughs> a 30 con save. <laughs> I got hey. plus 11. You eat 65 drumsticks. <laughs> Jeez. You can no longer eat any more drumsticks. For the first time in my life, I am full. Yeah, I just saw you shovel down so many of those things, so it was kind of entertaining. How much HP did I get? <laughs> well, you have 5 HP for each. 6 HP for each. So if I calculate... <laughs> you're at max health. You're like... You're, you got 390 <laughs> health back. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you're good. Uh yes. I wonder if we could take a long rest here. Just take a nap at the table. The music is horrible, but I can plug my ears. I was going to actually, uh, honestly, like, say, what if we do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you wish to take a long rest here? Can we? You could. Uh, but... <laughs> There's a button there. Oh. Okay, real quick. If we're going to take a long rest, Aurora, Aurora just said that she's going to cast Hero's Feast. It... Not after I ate all my food. Balsam, yeah, you can... You have to eat a little bit more. Balsam, for an you hour, can... But it'll it lasts for 24 hours, the effects of that, and we can take a long rest afterwards. Balsam, you got to roll me a charisma save to convince... You get plus four. You gotta convince yourself that you can eat more food. Even though your body is heavily Actually, rejecting. Yeah, you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have to eat a whole lot. You could literally just eat a grape. You just have to eat from that table within the hour. Still, I need that charisma save, Balsam. You got it, bud. That's a 26. <laughs> you have convinced your body that whatever food you put inside you is not going to kill you, even though it feels at every waking moment that you are going to be poisoned by whatever you eat because your body is vehemently saying no at this point balsam's body is literally glowing so can we take a long rest or do we have to yes roll you can take a long rest here you know how to spell a slot very nice 
I plug my I plug my ears so I don't hear this horrible <laughs> fucking music of playing a, a wrong note every Yo, couple so of bit. No, that's horrible. Eight hours passed by and you've taken a long rest. So and... is gonna cast Heroes Feast. Yep. And we're gonna eat from that beforehand and then sleep. Well you don't need to sleep. Or rest for an for the long rest. You're gonna rest for eight hours. Yep. So, uh you everybody is cured of all diseases and poison. We become immune to poison and frightened, and we make all wisdom saves with advantage. We also gain two D ten hit point maximum, and these benefits last for twenty four hours. I've been planning this for like two weeks now. So as you all awake you all awake stuffed your fucking gills in food. And as you awaken, you smell rotting flesh. Ah. Oh, that's great. As you awaken, over here, there is a pile of flesh that once was a uh, grim steel. A pile of flesh, bone, and metal as they completely dissect it and take all the metal spikes out of the body that was supporting it and cut every single tendon. No. Oh. You'll have to do a Interesting. All the automatons have gathered round to view the specimen. Yeah. I will help you out. Yeah, I'll, I'll also take a look. What do I need to roll for that? I need to roll me a wisdom save. Wisdom save. Oh, shit. Everybody gets plus That's... four. And we make them with advantage. 23. You manage not to vomit and completely go hysterical at the sight of it, as it is a twisted pile of flesh, bones, and organs. As you find oh, that it was a normal man that was forced to be inside of an Iron Maiden suit and then slowly tortured to death. Oh, fuck. What the shit? Oh, he's still alive, by the way. Oh, well, I'm. we need, we need to put him out of his misery, guys. Do you want to go through the sea of... Do you want to no, start I don't... another fight? Braves. No, I think actually, let's just go ahead and get the fuck out of here. Exactly. It may be fucked up, and yes, that's the right thing to do. But right now, we're stuck here. And we need to get out. And I need yeah. to get Tarkus back. Where do you yeah, want to go? Uh... Left or right? L left. You don't want to explore? No, there's an amalgamation of flesh, bone, and organ in front of us. You're right here, but I mean, you can go right and go down this way. Yeah, no, let's let's get the fuck out of here and go left. Okay. As you head left, you head into a large museum of taxidermy bones. And upon doing so, okay. you find that there are bones of all kinds of creatures and skeletons of every single thing that you can find a mind on as the displays simply shift with magical auras as they shift between different skeletons of different creatures every few seconds. Awesome. As well, as you see, there are these creatures that you find that are bone wraiths that walk around with shovels in hand called Second Hand Past. What was that last bit? They're called secondhand past, as they view, as they view you, and they are the guardians of the skeletal museum. Don't touch anything, guys. Oh, these guys? Yeah, secondhand past. Yeah. Okay. Time oh, jokes! Okay. Hooray! <laughs> don't, don't, balsam, balsam. Don't touch anything. Graves, you see skeletons in here of Dragonborn, Wyronborn. You even see some of Dragon Newts. One second. 
Balsam. One second. You... Oh. Balsam. Mm -hmm. You see skeletons of your own people in here. Even one with a cloak on it. Uh... Is it like something that's shifting? Or... Am I seeing like... You know how like a slideshow is presented? Pieces. Yeah. They're being magically shifted out for different things. It's like a magical slideshow. Hey, uh, and briefly, for a moment, you see like one of the members of your monk tribe as a tiefling skeleton. Altus, may I? What do you? What are you seeing right now? What? What am I seeing? <laughs> With my special eyes. You're seeing the skeletons of multiple creatures, and with their souls are entrapped in those skeletons, and are being forced to continue to live even though all their flesh is gone. Eternal pain and suffering. Uh. <laughs> uh, uh, skeletons, balsam. We should leave. We should leave this area. Um. Yes. Do they feel personal to you in any way? Do they, Cactus? Mm. What do I see my... You know what? I was about to say, do I see my parents? But I don't like my parents anyway, so that... I wouldn't be How do you get a skeleton parents. of a Genasi? Good point. You don't... You, you, don't you don't have bones. I don't? <laughs> no. Why would you oh. have why would you have bones? I don't know. I just what if they just had a fan? <laughs> I mean that would be like what your distant relative of the future? Or a jar of <laughs> air it's just a jar, it's a jar of air, like a jar of sand. <laughs> so <laughs> okay. I got the I... jar of dirt. I got the jar of dirt. I... But I'll look at Balsam as like uh no, Balsam, I don't really have any bones to display of my people, so nope. I see. We we need to go, though. We need this. It's not pleasant. We need to go. Come on, Balsam. Let's, let's go. Yeah, you would be dragging Balsam as he's looking <laughs> in at this direction. Am I, though? <laughs> Am I? With my, with my weak arms. <laughs> yeah, just very slowly, just like with maximum effort. Just <laughs> Imagine I'm seeing bones of somebody I saw alive the last time I seen them. If they have their masks. Let's go to the hallway. Let's go the hallway yeah. route. Yes. Let's go. You're going down here? Yeah, let's go down the hallway. Avoid any more... Any more spooky stuff. Let's just go down the hallway. So nice. Are these paintings haunted or are there spirits in these paintings? Oh, <laughs> no. Instead, they're painting frames with live animals stuck through the paintings. Let's go, Wilson. <laughs> As you begin to walk down the hall, you sense hands beginning to grab you from behind. I look back at Balsam. You what? need to roll me a con save. What? Both of us or just him? Oh, just him. As you look back behind you, you see the thousands of dead souls and spirits that are clinging up through the walls and the paintings as they are reaching out to you. Roll me a con save. <clears throat> At 20. 20. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. You're taking only damage. Oh, okay. Fun. 
93 damage. This is a good idea. How much? Oh, fuck. 93 psychic damage. <clears throat> fuck. Hell. Sorry, what's going on? I, I was put in power. Damage! Oh, they went down in a haunted <laughs> hallway and turned around. I don't grab... being ripped apart by ghosts. I grab Balsam, I tell him, do not turn around, and I sprint. Okay. <laughs> the okay. As you get out of the hallway, and you come into a lounge area. Within this lounge area, there is all kinds of food at the tables. There are just some... You know, automatons chatting it up over here and to relaxing and playing a game of cards. You also notice that there is a mechanical machine over here with buttons and speakers on it. Well, you would know to be speakers, but none of you know what a speaker is in this world, so it has yes. wire frames on it with little buttons surrounding it. down the hallways, whatever you do. At least don't turn around! Oh, by the way, Grace, what was your reaction to seeing multiple Dragonborn and Dragon Newts as skeletons? Um, fair indifference. Uh, when going through these floors, are we trying to go down or up? What kind of stairs are we looking for? Down. Have we seen any f stairs? Oh, over here. Yes. There's stairs over here. But before there, but before there are stairs there, those stairs, while they are there, there's a, as you passed by, a sheet of metal blocking them. Uh -huh. With a keyhole. How to find the key? for the keyhole. How? Oh, don't you have thieves tools? Oh, I have knock. What am I doing? You also have knock. <laughs> I have knock. I fun. would like to say, though, do any of you have an interest in the speaker machines over here? No. <laughs> I feel like we wouldn't have known what the hell those things were. Exactly. <laughs> we wouldn't want to touch anything in this. I, Dal is definitely not touching anything else. In this. Not even mechanically curious. <laughs> no, no. Balsam. Like, those are strange black boxes. I mean, as you go past one balsam, you do hear a voice coming from one. Oh my god. A recorded voice of what appears to be some kind of elf. Damn, they just sound it. <laughs> you could just tell that it's an elf. All right. I mean, you're well versed in your travels. Wait, are these the recordings of the insults from? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, yes, I am very interested. Because <laughs> I want to hear those. <laughs> we already did those. Huh? We already did those. We already did the insults. Yeah, but from um, Corin. No, no. Not yet. We're not at Corrin's floor yet. Oh. But you hear some kind of voice talking about a party of sorts. Hmm. Awesome, you touch it first. I already got hit by 93 damage. You touch it. Alright, Halpus. You still name me. <laughs> I'm going mute. If you need me, let me know. You got it, bud. Are you not interested in Graves? I am I going to investigate the the speakers? No, I don't really. Okay. Well, I will say that all of you should head over to Corona Voice Lines. Sure. 
he's more of a surround sound type of guy. I wish for you to press the, as you press the button, all of us together are going to listen to the one named Blueford in Corona Voice Lines. In I three, can't, oh, wait, wait, I can't find him. It's in the contents, go down, scroll down, it's in the older posts, right below Oath of the Forgotten. Uh, I see. Listening to the Blueford in, same order. in three, Those are two, one. Although Blueford was truly Oberon's direwolf, he was good to everyone. He even grew into an outstanding combatant and a leader to his pack. And without a doubt, he was best for it. No one can tell me otherwise. Ah, Blueford. <laughs> that was his in, like, one of his introductions with us, right? No. Uh -huh. You see, this oh. is what is labeled up top as the memory board. As one of the automatons comes over to you and says, Oh, did you just hear one of the astounding tales of our dear master? Uh. Who would the pure soul? Yeah, yes. Quite excellent. I prefer the one of Ava myself. She's quite the go getter. <laughs> oh, can you set that one up for us? <laughs> oh, you just have to press the button. What button? What the oh, button? you know, my hands are so feeble. He... Every day they grow weaker and weaker. He Could points... you be a kind soul and push them for me? He points to the button that says Ava on it. Behind Balsam and push it. Frowns behind his mask. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna listen to Ava in three, two, one. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Uh, Ava, my favorite titanic titted tiefling. To her credit, she's an extraordinary combatant and always the first to charge the front line. She's even saved me a numerous amount of times with her arcane hand. However, I'm still convinced that she only learned that spell to have hands big enough to grope her own chest. So that one was strange. You like that one? Yes, I do. Wonderful. Awesome. However, I cannot say as many people have created great mythologies surrounding his amazing adventures, as he points to the other one. But the other shelf contains innumerable amount of books, all labeled under mythology. What do you all wish to do now? Don't you don't you like history balsam? I do, I am. Do we if I had a glance at any of this, how much would you say it would probably have a lot in it? You're looking for the fattest book? Oh yeah. Roman investigation. Sixteen. You found a book that weighs five pounds. Oh yes. This it is so big they had to stitch three extra covers. Like three extra bindings together. And what is the title of this book? The Adventure. The adventure is an amazing wilderness through Blueford. And as you open up the pages, it just says bark, 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 bark. Pages and pages and pages of barks and biffs and woofs and oofs and 
howls and woos in gruffs and snuffs of a dog. Just comprehend language. Does that do anything here? <laughs> As you comprehend language and you begin to read, you find yourself fascinated with the most wonderful, amazing tale known to man of an amazing tale of a wolf and his people in a forest hunting a rabbit. Oh, this is quite excellent. And I think with the positions of these things that the dog has noticed, I think I can even figure out where this was. Interesting. Then you get day two, which is another adventure for hunting down a rabbit. And then day three, which is another adventure for hunting down a rabbit. Does it have descriptions of, like, paths it's taking? Yes. Like, it has descriptions okay. of the paths wow. it's taking, plant life it sees, bark on the trees, the different leaves, how the season changes, the wind is changing, the smells in the air, all that. Imagine you Ulysses, Boston's... but for a dog's life. Yeah. Nice. Okay, Boston's gonna pocket the book. <laughs> Does Automaton show any anger towards that? <laughs> No. He says, okay. oh, so you wish to pocket? You wish to take uh, one of our dear legislatures? Yes, my people uh, quite enjoy literature, particularly like this. Oh, well, we would love to have your people come in here and sample our many books. You see, we produce thousands of books a day. I'll have to oh. speak with my elder on that. See what she says. People come here, I'm just like, mm. <laughs> We produce subjects in all different kinds, although... So many authors. I rarely see them post more than one book, though. Hmm. Such a shame. That is how the story of life truly happens, does it not? Oh. Pat. Shall you rejoin Graves? Yeah. Graves, did you want to do anything while they were exploring the books and anything? Explore yeah, I this. Examine this. I want to examine this metal door. That's it. Okay. So. It's a metal door. We're done fiddling with stuff. And, and the keyhole, uh, I wanted to, like... Actually, I wanted to take a little perceptive look around. My surroundings. Okay. Do I see anything particularly intriguing? Well, besides having multiple tapestries and all kinds of skeletons on the wall and... High suits of armor, with the suit of armor over here being full mithril armor. Full plated mithril, magically encrusted armor. You see that over here leads some way to some kind of room full of steam. Back over here is the lounge. Through this door you see there is all kinds of meats. You can guess maybe a butcher. And to the I bottom the bottom left what? down here there is what appears to be some kind of pillowing of smoke you guess coal and steel I actually went ahead that way myself towards the coal and steel want me to move your token uh sure this way yeah <laughs> down there okay <laughs> As you make your way past the lounge, you see the different automatons inside, and you see all the different books. And as you all walk past, you see this shelf of books here. Books fall out onto the ground as new books slide themselves in from the back. Oh. 
Interesting. And as they, they fall on the ground, they fall into a small crack in the floor. Can I can I crap try to grab one of them before it fully goes down? Sure. What what do I roll? No. Don't step slide of hand. Rip your mother's back. Uh, but slide of hand. Yes, yeah, slide of hand. Twenty-two. You pick it up, and you see that it has an identical title to the one that Balsam has, except it's a much lighter book. As you open it up, it says biff 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 woof. Beautiful. Do you wish to read this one as well, Balsam? We'll take a look at it by looking at the one happening at the same time. The entire time I'm next to Balsam right here, I am like leaning over him. Just like trying to look at the book while he's like as you reading it, and I open the book and like slide it in front. As you like, read the new reading? book, it's the exact same story, but instead of hunting a rabbit, it's hunting a deer. Oh. <laughs> oh. This one. It's about blue fared, right? Yeah, it's the exact same story, but it's shorter, more compiled, less detailed about hunting a deer instead of a rabbit, but on the same route, trail, and smells. Oh, Bluford spends a lot of time doing interesting things. Graves, you enter a small blacksmith area. What do you want to do? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here a small blacksmith area. As you enter a blacksmith area, on the one far right of the wall is the head of a Belrog, and in front of you there is a small automaton that is working on all kinds of armor. As well in the corner there appears to be some very large corpse of what appears to be a vampire that he goes over, extracts some kind of blood from, injects into a metal and begins hammering away on it. Interesting work there. Why, thank you. For this is my life's work. For I have only been born yesterday, and my life's work so far is vampire armor. Vampiric armor? Yes. Where does that work? It's used to kill blood breeds. Very specific vampires, you see. They are considered ones that can live within the sky and the night. Most importantly, they can suck blood without biting you. So it is imperative if you are to fight one that your armor has blood of them, so they cannot suck the blood from you. It resists it. And are you, would you be able, uh, ju just wondering, is there any chance that you might have be, be able to inject some of that to the armor I currently wear? No, no, no. I am sorry, my friend, but this armor must be made specifically with hell ore. Herald or? Hell or. Hell or. I'm assuming my 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 dungeon armor is not made from hell or, correct? No, it's made from iron. Yeah. Hell or oh. is or taken from the infernal realm. Well, In that's... enriched or by the screams and deaths of millions. Mm, yeah, definitely not something Grace would be wearing. Cool. Well. I'll let you go ahead and get back to your work. I'm gonna. Is this a hallway back, uh, back here as well? Yeah, it's a hall. 
I'm going to continue walk back that way. As you walk back, the automaton that was sitting at the workbench instantly deactivates and falls on the ground dead. Hmm. You That's... then see you then see from a little side panel door in the wall, it opens, and a new automaton looking just like him walks out, takes the body, and says, I wonder why he's dead. Oh, well, I'll have to ask the manager later. Oh, hello, sir. I was born just today. I am here to start my life's work. Uh, I'm guessing making vampire armor? How did you know? It's my it's specialty. Just a wild guess. Just a wild guess. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you, thank Continue you. walking forward. As you walk forward, you enter a small room with another automaton that is writing scrolls. Hey there, what do you do here? For I write scrolls of the ancient times. The mythology is split between multiple sections, you see. For I write of the ancient times before our dear God came to this wasteland and made it such the beautiful art that it is now. Do I have any idea of how old, uh, you know, I'm, I can't remember her name at the moment, but my, my new dragon friend? Mm, hold on. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Nyoka. Nyoka. Yeah, Nyoka. Well, Nyoka is several, several thousands of years old. Eons, even? They're a forgotten pantheon, so, yeah. Alright. Would, would you, you happen to have, if I asked you about a, 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 a deity, a creature, a god, uh, would you have, potentially be able to give me some information on them? Depends. Would you have any information on a creature by the name of Nyoka? What's a Nyoka? Sounds like yogurt to me. That's... Just, that's, that's... I only have that's, scrolls that's, on my dear present god. His okay, name is so Corona. On, he is an ancient and wonderful god. Which god is that? With the father god of time, Corona. Kronos. Corona. Corona. Well, uh... He shows you his scrolls, and he has tons and, and tons and, and tons of scrolls. You know what? I actually... Would you mind if I read one of these? Sure. Go ahead. As you read through the scroll, it tells of the great many creations that he made throughout the many eons that he went through. You read a general creation scroll that tells about the general things of the timeline, and you find that every time, every scroll stops just before what is announced as the Great Scratch. The Great Brag? The... The Great Scratch. Scratch. I don't know why I heard the Great Grab. Or Brag. The Great, the great scratch. scratch. What? Wait. What can you tell me about the Great Scratch? I can't tell you very much, as we don't know all that much. All that we know is that when a scratch occurs, everything from before ceases to exist. It's a devastating calamity, as far as I know. This is an ancient telling of a story, but who's to know how ancient this story really is? To us, it's ancient, but very well, this could have been the first or the 100th scratch so far. Whoa. Uh... Could I roll a kind of check to see if I've ever heard of anything resembling this type of information before in any of my studies? You can. What kind of a check would you like me to roll? Religion. Religion? 
Mm-hmm. How does it say 19? So, as you gain this religion check, in your studies of the multiple religions around you, you don't know of any particular event being a scratch. You've heard of many great calamities happening if a god does know not save a certain thing or whatever as all great gods work towards in their religion some end of the world calamity happening but nothing that is supposed to reset the world so this is a calamity unlike any I've ever learned, ever heard of heard of or studied before it's a calamity but it's it's weird in the sense that it sounds and is written like a calamity, but it's also written... It's written from the standpoint of a person who should already know what the scratch is, as they can describe exactly what it is. But it's being made by a person that has no idea what it is. Does that make sense? Uh, yep. It's like drawing a helicopter without knowing what a helicopter is, and they can't describe to you what a helicopter is or how it functions, just that that's a thing, but you know that's a helicopter. Gotcha. Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> so it's some kind of a calamity, just nobody knows how big it is, how bad it is, what it does. Nobody knows, like, it's practically un unknown in terms of most most of any factors except it's been given a name because it's obviously occurred at some point in ancient history yes but they know exactly what leads to it and how it happens but they don't okay so they know exactly what leads to it and how it happens which was what again that's is this is the paradox they know they know that the scratch is there they know as if they know everything about it but they cannot recall any information of it. Okay, gotcha. I know, it. I, I get what you're saying. It's like, they, it's, the information is there, but it's not accessible. Yes. As if it's Got always it. been known, but it's never available. Got it. I, I, with the books I've been reading lately, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. No, a hundred percent. It's it's like it's like a video game, and knowing you have access to like a certain menu, but not being able to actually access it yet. Yep. Got Pretty it. Pretty much. Yep. So, knowing that, the scratch seems just odd to you that. You know, it's just it's just odd. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for this information. I'm gonna move up one to this room. As you move on, you enter a butcher's room where he is butchering a purple worm. Huh. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't. Un- or well, go ahead. He's butchering a purple worm. Excuse me. Though, excuse me. Yes. Do you know where I might find a, a smithy who's working with like weaponry, not with armor? Hmm. Down here, I saw a smithy working with armor over there, but I believe if you enter two rooms above me, there is, or to the left of me rather, there is a arcanist fellow who works on weapons, although I don't know if you really want to use his weapons or not. They're rather obscure and obtuse. Alright. Thank you, thank you. He mumbles under his breath something about a metal kazoo. Go ahead and I'll go ahead and start make like around about this point is probably when they're finishing what they're doing, so I'm gonna make my start making my way back toward the big metal door. I just, I just point at a per- particular like woof and like what's that one say? <laughs> Balsam. Oh. <laughs> the one I was reading. Yeah. Or is it just a random book? I, 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 I don't know, probably. It says <laughs> I just, woof. Like, randomly point at a 
<laughs> yeah, I point at a random wolf, but like, what does this one say? Balsam, you... If you had glasses, you would click them, but you click your mask instead, and it says woof. <laughs> oh, yes. This one is the great journey of fetch. Oh, no. All uh, right, buddy, I think that's enough. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on. You oh, can you take your... Know about... You can oh, take but your he goes book. back and forth repeatedly. It is very entertaining. <laughs> you can tell me later. We'll have a bedtime <laughs> the, the story great together story of later. Fetch. <laughs> you can tell me the bedtime story later, but I'll fall some. I promise. Oh. So, you're in front of a metal door. I cast a knock on the lock. It dents the metal door as the lock was painted on. Go ahead and huh. I'll go ahead and push open the door. It's not real. The door you try not. to you try to push open the door, but it's not even a door. It's painted on hinges. It's just a metal, just a piece of metal. That's hilarious. I love it. Am I walking around? Did I see any other set of stairs? No. Can I like try to lift the? Like this metal panel? Uh, you can try. I mean, why not? Strength save. <laughs> Yo, I got a 23. You open it like a can opener. Nice. Are there stairs? Great question. <laughs> there are stairs. Do you wish to enter them? Yes. Yes. Hey, I found the stairs, guys. Can I roll I... an insight first to make sure the stairs are right? <laughs> Sure. Another painted wall behind another painted wall. <laughs> the 15. They're real stairs. All right, All right. I'll walk down the stairs. Y'all start to walk down. I'm gonna end session here. Okay.